Da -da -da. Pretty sure GC Tirth is in India and has an atrocious internet connection. Yeah, but that guy grinds, man. That guy is in every open tournament I have ever played in, and I've played in a lot of open tournaments. So, he's around. I think I keep Despite still. Despite's too good not to keep. We're against Warrior, though, so it's like not a great card. I want to have Elise because I want to get Elise down, and I want to try and find Brawl. Did I forget the doggy? No, I, I let Ava outside, well, so that she wouldn't uh, whine and cry for attention. She doesn't like it when people are like talking and they don't pet her. <laughs> She's like, no, don't talk to them, talk to me. Yeah, typical girls, right? So, I can't have her in the room when I stream. <laughs> she gets jealous. Yeah, right. Coin Despite into Elise, into Belcher. Fantastic, I love it. Allows us to answer his next minion, which is the only 4-drop in Control Warrior is Elise, which is a 3-5, which then dies to the charged up Despite, so that's not a bad. What kind of computer should you get laptop-wise? I don't know. I think laptops are pretty non-existent. Like, every laptop I've gotten in the past forever has been awful. So don't go with my recommendations, but for, like, specific laptops, my recommendation would be just get a tablet, man. Tablets are dope. And then for like real computer stuff, get a desktop. Because desktops are dope. And I've never had any problems with like desktops ever. But laptops are always sketchy for me. I don't like them. I still want to bash trade armor. I don't want to swing, do I? I could kill it fully to then play my own belt, sure, but. I think it's fine to just bash it, trade, and armor. Um, this is... I want it completely gone, right? Yeah, I think I'll just kill it, play my own belcher. I got another weapon anyway, so we can go. It can be fine. Why isn't Arch Thief played? It's played occasionally. We've discussed already. Control decks, generally speaking, have a more removal than minions. If you have more removal than minions, you generally don't have too much things on the board so you're usually behind in board control so you take a lot of damage and then you get a 10 drop in your hand which then you also have to play with limited effect on the board like even the timepiece has very limited effect on the board if they have a lot of minions it likely won't kill too many things so then you're taking a ton of damage again so you need to set up a situation for where two turns you can take all of your opponent's damage and not die and that's very hard to do so arch thief farm doesn't see very much play You can have, of course, some, like, intermediate turn where you ignore your opponent's board, then you recover from ignoring your opponent's board, and then you use the cards you get off of it, which is likely what you're supposed to do, but the problem is, what decks can really do that? There's, like, Control Warrior with Brawl has the co recovery comeback, there's Frost Nova Doomsayer combo and Freeze Mage, so it really limits your options of where you can put the deck, put the card, you can use it in Priest with, like, Light Bomb to recover the board to then go into it. It gets... tricky. I have a lot of damage. I'm just looking at this and like, I could maybe kill this guy pretty soon. Just start swinging. Like, these bashes are calling my name. Just pop him in the dome a few times. It's tempting, but the thing is, he's gonna play shield blocks, shield maidens, whatnot. So, I mean, like, yeah, he's just gonna, he's gonna get out of range, right? Right? <laughs> Yeah, Simistros, you got it right. He knows exactly what I'm talking about. The Acera cards are much better than the Arch Thief or Fom cards because you can flexibly use them while you're trying to recover the board from the turn that you gave up the board by playing Ysera. And one of them recovers the board by itself. Ysera awakens. You just re recover the board. You got like a ch percent chance that you literally don't get punished for playing Ysera, which is insane. Just absolutely insane. Alright. Set up lethal, I guess.
All right, next turn, if he doesn't taunt or use an armor gain thing, we can kill him. So, I mean, we're pressuring him into making the first move of a minion on the board. I don't want to play Dr. Boom into that board and get brawled. I want to force him to overreact to our board. Oh, we can't kill him, because he gains one armor. We're one off. He's panicking and wasting a bash. Good, good, good. We both waste bashes now. <laughs> Alright, I'll just slam that and chop it down. Choppy, choppy. Get this guy out here. Now it seems worth it to get him out here. He's much less vulnerable to Brawl, has a chance to win. Uh, yeah, sometimes the cards don't work, right? But the average is better. Sick. Alright. How aggressive do I want to be? I mean, I could shield slam that and try and like just push through damage if I wanted to, but I don't think I want to be that aggressive, right? I want to be trading with these boom boats. I want to definitely cycle this this turn. Two revenges. 13 cards. I don't know, I could just push him through. Yeah, I think I will. We have to execute anyway, right? Fearless aggression. 18 health, we have 5, 6, 7, 10, plus another 8, you know? <laughs> so we have 17 plus some Boomba damage, plus a minimum 2. No, we don't have anywhere near that. But I mean, we're putting our opponent on a position where we could have lethal almost every turn. So we're forcing him to take the most defensive line possible, which is what you want to do. Within reason. Aha! Uh -huh. This card's good. Aha! Uh -huh. This card's good. This card's very good. Hello. Generally speaking, your opponent doesn't stop infinite bombs this early in the game. We got this Bolvar that's going to get huge. We got this, which we have a dragon for. And we got this, which is insane. This card, I guess, is what we start with, though. Why revenge over whirlwind? Because sometimes you verse decks that hit you in the face, like Zoo or Aggro Shaman, and then the revenge's ability to hit for three actually becomes relevant. Whereas it's very rare that the, the mana cost difference is too relevant because you hang a lot of mana with this deck. You're a control deck. You play removal, you play the slow game. It's not really like you don't go for value too often. I mean, you go for value a lot. I mean, you don't go for like tempo, so like the one mana difference usually doesn't matter. I think this is fine. Just get this out while we can get the value. Oops, I forgot to armor. Whoa. Kill it. Oh. This isn't good. Let's get awesome inventions. Ooh, Nexus Champion Sarad. That card's fun. I mean, I'll make a moisture removal on this, I guess. He's got a lot of things on board that this can trade into and kill. Hey, if we lose by two health, it's my fault. Otherwise, we did it anyway. Intimidation factor. Next level plays. Didn't even see it coming. Don't execute me, bro. This is second execute, yeah? I don't know. What? No. He's got a gore howl. What the fuck? Oh, shit. I can't beat Gorhal? Are you kidding me? Yeah, it awakens. <laughs> That's the game plan. Time to awaken my game plan. You guys jinxed me. When we were talking about Ysera earlier, I was like, yeah, sometimes you get awakens and just win, and you're like, no, it's, it's Laughing Sister every time. And then I play it and get Laughing Sister. I got jinxed so hard. You did this. You did this. Oh! I like that dragon. Get her done. 
That is value. Take him on Anixia. Ash Whirlwind? Oh shit. Oh, that's worse. Oh fuck. You know, this life total thing is going down pretty quick. Oh. <laughs> oh, we gotta get rid of this first, but damn it. That's a good card. That guy is big. Holy shit. I think I want to just get two minions out there. Dude, easy moger. Alright, let's do this. Um, and I guess this? I don't know. I don't know. A 3-5 doesn't accomplish anything either. I don't know how we're killing this Baron getting. We should have saved on to the 8-4 for this, I guess. This guy is huge. Bolvar, holy shit, that's a big sword. What a card. And sink 7 damage into the chicken maker. Dank. Play nothing. We can catch up. Window of opportunity nears. Get him. It's your time, my friend. It's your time. 17 7. I don't think he wants to face tank that. So that's why I played it. I'm hoping he makes this trade. <laughs> and then we can get play Nixia, win the game. I mean, if he makes that trade, if he tries to face tank it, we could kill him with something. I'm sure we could. There's probably a card in our deck that does it. Obviously, this is going to lower the quality a little bit, but it, at this point, I think it's worth it. So hopefully, that should start stabilizing things up. There's a Deathwing. Fuck. You. All we have to do is kill Wing, man. Kill Deathwing, win game. Seems like a simple plan. Seems like a simple plan. <laughs> yes! <laughs> he doesn't know what Moger does and he got wrecked. I guess he had no choice. Moger just wrecked him. Okay, so we continue with the Moger shenanigans. I'll just hold the attack to make sure I get the effect. We win long game, so I just want him not to be able to hit me in the face, and then uh, he gets wrecked. Moger OP, bros. Wrecked. Nice life. Greetings, traveler. I will yep. hunt you down, hunt you no. down. Yep. Let the Great hunt blow. begin. Yes. Yep. Do me trade. Nope. Me go face. Yep. Me retard. Nope. Me am smart. Yep. Me summon Leok. Nope. Summon Huffer. Yep. Summon Misha. Nope. Another Huffer. Yep. Clear the board. Nope. SMR. Yep. Be nice to people. Nope. Turn seven lethal. Yep. 